Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Military Mondays. If you and I don't know each other, I would love to get to know you. Uh, just private message me or reach out to me and watch past shows at militarymondays.info. So that's militarymondays.info. And if you are a veteran or a currently serving military member or a spouse, I want to have a conversation with you because I interview rock star military veteran owned businesses on Monday mornings to get the word out about you. And today I have an amazing woman on. I met Ricky um, through Polka Dots. So if you're not familiar with Polka Dots and you're a female, you ought to reach out to Ricky or myself and learn about Polka Dots. And she replied to a post about my military Mondays. And then we had an amazing conversation. Our lives kind of mirror each other in a way. And um, so I'm super excited to have her on today. Welcome to Military Mondays, Ricky. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. So Ricky is a Army specialist, a former Army specialist, and we're not going to hold that against her. You know, wow. those, of us who are, those of us who are Air Force, <laughs> got to get those, those, uh, those jabs in. in. There. Yeah. Um, and she is the chief training officer of Stratus Training and Consulting. Wow, that's a mouthful. It, it sounds a like... A lot. So let's start, though, with your military career and what it was you did in the service, in the Army, and um, we'll go from there. Okay. Um, first of all, because of the Air Force jab, both my parents were in the Air Force, so there. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> I know. Um, I know. I'm a military kid. Then I became an Army member and then I became an army spouse. And now I'm also an army mom. My <laughs> oldest kid's getting ready to retire next year <laughs> from the army. Yeah. You started when you were two, right? That's exactly right. Let's yeah. go with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, and when I was in the army, I was in communications, believe it or not. So there I was in Camo. And I did the same thing a lot of military folks do. Went in, traveled met some amazing people, and then realized there was something else I needed to be in doing, got out and hit the ground running. Awesome. So what are some of the skills that you believe you learned in the military that make you successful in business today? Wow. You know, you hear a lot about when military people come in and they go out and they say, oh, I learned about leadership. And I did. I learned about great leadership. And I learned about some really bad leadership as well. Sometimes you got to take the bad and know that that's not what you want to be and do and make it better. So I learned that. I learned communication skills. I learned about having other people in your corner. A lot of times, especially in this day and age, we learn that it's all about you and you don't need anybody's help. And if you need anybody's help, then you're not really good at it. Yeah, that's not true. Get as much help as you can. And one of the cool things I learned about being an Army spouse is the base method. Now, if you are in anybody's FRG for those of, that are Army, you understand that the base method is borrow and steal everything. <laughs> there are no such thing as brand new ideas. Take somebody else's idea and Im improve upon it. Get other people's brilliance in on it as well. So I learned a lot of stuff. And another big thing, especially as a veteran-owned small business, never stop trying, regardless of how disappointing and discouraging sometimes it can be. You got to get up the next day and keep doing it. Awesome. And I think the other thing we learned, and you and I talked about this when we um, chatted a week or so ago, is resilience. Is you, I mean, we talked, you and I talked about your career and having to move and restart over as a mom, because yes, you did um, start out and you were on active duty, but then you became that mom and that yeah. spouse of an active duty. And sure. That is not an easy role. So I applaud all of those spouses out there. You serve also. And that's why I like to 
a highlight holiday. Mm -hmm. the, the holidays are around That's the world. Right. <laughs> I like to holiday. Ho I'm going to say it again. Highlight <laughs> um, the spouses and their businesses because yeah. you know without you they wouldn't be successful in the military and your children rely on you to run what my ex used to call sink house. Wow, so. which is so good. You know, it, and it's so true. A lot of military members, they have two jobs. Get your orders and get there on time. They're done. The military spouses, you got to get the kids out of school, get the house packed up, find out where the new school is going to be, touch base maybe with the new clothes. When you get there, you got to, you know, look at the housing, get everything together, make sure your spouse didn't have the boots packed in the, you know, in your whole goods or whatever. And then you got to get the kids back in school, find where the doctors are going to be at. You got, there's so many things. And then your family wants to eat as soon as their day is over. <laughs> Did anybody make it to the commissary today? You know, so it's a lot. So kudos to every single military spouse because it is, it is work. It, it is, is a job. Work. It is a job. It's a job. Yeah. You may not I mean, get paid for it other than a pat on the back here and there. But here and there exactly and then if you are a serial entrepreneur or if you are a professional student you got to find your own school you got to find your new side hustle you got to build a new clientele when you and i had talked before i told you every time we moved i started a new job yep and back in those days 115 years ago you know when <laughs> When you're going to school, you literally had to change schools every time. There weren't a lot of online opportunities. So you had that to do as well. It it was it was a chore. It was a lot, but it was also a lifestyle. And it was a lifestyle that awarded you so many different opportunities that people who don't do this wouldn't get it. So exactly. I, I'm, I'm grateful for it. I am definitely grateful for the opportunities. And, and it taught me some things I would not have learned otherwise. Exactly. I mean, there, there are some um, not so fun things when you're in the military or a spouse. Mm -hmm. But like you said, the opportunities you have when you serve, you know, the traveling, the moving around. And a lot of people would look at that as negative. But it allows you to see either the U.S. or the world. I mean, you get to see different um, communities and cultures that most people don't ever get to see in an entire lifetime. That's so, true. And you literally become a citizen of the world. You know, your world, your worldview changes. You, you very rarely have that me, 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 all things me, because you've been places where nobody cared who you were, you know. <laughs> But you also have a community, a camaraderie that that cannot be beat. You know, I, it's so funny now that we're retired and, and we're stable now in the same place forever. You know, <laughs> it's so funny. People will ask me, you know, where did you grow up? That to me is one of the hardest questions to answer. As a military brat and all you military brats out there, you know what I mean. Where were you from? You usually either tell them the place that you were born or the place that your parents retired, you know, because yeah. you really don't have that. But then, too, also, it's funny to me because people say, oh, yeah, I, I went to the same high school and now I'm having my 40th whatever high school reunion. I went to three high schools. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't even know what that is to be, you know, to have the same friends that I grew up with in high school. I don't even know where they are. If you're on here, hit me up on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And speaking of birthplaces or where your parents yes! retired, we found out that Ricky and I were born in the exact same hospital. In the same hospital. That is hilarious. Yeah. Yep, in Onondaga County in Syracuse, New York. Yep, exactly. And so, you know, it, and when Ricky and I first met, it was an instant bond. There's an instant bond with people who have served or spouses that it's just so hard to explain. If you're not a part of the community, the culture, you wouldn't understand, but it, it's like we were, we've known each other for years. It's, yeah. 
it's yes. just amazing. And I love that culture. Um, you know, civilians really struggle if they move with their jobs yeah, um, yeah. to a new city to reacquaint and to find new friends in that. And it, I don't know what it is. I can't describe it. Ricky probably can't either. But we have just that camaraderie, that bond that instantly yeah. bonds us as military. I think it comes with the fact that, you know, I get it. You know, we're new everywhere we go. And so one of the things that we try to do is make sure you're not, you don't feel odd man out just because you're new. Because right. in about 18 months to three years, somebody else is going to be new again. So yeah. I, I, I think that has, because we get it, you know, we, it, you come from the same community. Exactly. Yeah. So on to what you're doing today, because I'm fascinated by what you're doing today and how you're helping businesses. And so talk to me about Stratus training and consulting and how you're helping businesses to like bust out of that box and have amazing years. Well, Stratus Training and Consulting is a soft skills training company. And what we do is we go in and we train companies on their pressure points, whether it be customer relations, leadership, uh, speech and presentation skills. So we have over 50 customizable trainings that we can offer companies. And we do companies, we do large um, associations, civic groups, things like that. So we'll go in and either we do the, we do the training, or if there's some companies that have phenomenal trainings of their own, but they just don't have anybody to do the training for them. So they'll contact me and we'll set up time and I'll find out their life and we'll go in and do their training as well. And it helps because so many companies need training have to have training, but have no idea where to start. Or worse yet, training is so freaking painful that nobody wants to do it. <laughs> no, we've never been in any of those trainings in the military. Oh, no. Yeah, where you're sitting there like, are we still doing this? Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> and, and, and everybody in the military knows, knows this term, death by PowerPoint. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> When you're looking at a training and one of the things I think all of us now do, man, you see a PowerPoint and the first thing you do is wonder how many slides are in this day. <laughs> so we try to make training fun and make it relevant and give people, give attendees something that they can take away and actually use right away. It's not like, oh, great, another mandatory training. You know, we try <laughs> to make it fun as well. Awesome. And I'm going to give a plug, but we're not going to tell them what it is yet. If you stay till the very end of the interview, I know that Ricky has a special offer for anybody watching today. So, yeah. <laughs> so talk about those soft skills, because you said you're a soft skills training company. And I truly believe that you're strong in soft skills because of the military. So let's talk about those soft skills, because that word is thrown around a lot and not everybody truly understands what soft skills are. I know it's kind of funny. It's something you, you don't really think about. So you think of your hard skills. Those are your technical skills. I am not coming in to teach you how to do your job. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to teach you how to fly a plane. I'm not going to teach you how to turn a screwdriver or, you know, fill potholes. That's not what we do. But what soft skills are, are the things that you think that, you know, growing up, that you probably later forgot how to introduce yourself, how to speak to people, how to show someone a product, how to speak with, in such a way that others can understand, how to present something in such a way that folks may want to buy from you, how to make sure that who you are as a leader is someone that people want to follow. How's that for a definition? I Ooh, like that geez, one. You are writing that down later. That was good. Yeah, you might have to go get the recording and I take know. that tip it out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, soft skills are things that people don't really look at, but they matter. And how do I know they matter? Anybody that has gone into a store or any establishment and has gotten trashy service, that is because of soft skills. Anyone who has a teenager who doesn't know how to stand up and introduce themselves, those are soft skills. 
So those are the things that we help companies build and train on. Awesome. So I have one last question, and that is thinking of your military career as a as a military brat, as a spouse, and, and as active duty. What is one piece of advice maybe you have for each one of those? So we'll start as a military brat. What would be some advice you would have for any of those military children, brats, as we call them, <laughs> in air quotes? What, what would be a piece of advice you would have for them? Don't be afraid. Get out there. They are new too. Yep. I love it. And then as let's let's put ourselves in the position that we're getting out in three to five years. So it's a currently serving military member getting ready to retire or separate. They've decided that this isn't like you did. This isn't what they want to do for their entire career. What piece of advice would you have for them? Have a plan. Do not jump. You know, I, I tell anybody getting out of the military, especially if you've been in it and in the community for a really long time, especially our active duty folks who've been in 20 years and over, there is a world outside of that community. Have a plan. Don't just get out thinking that anyone else from now on is going to care that you walked into a room. Because when you, depending on the rank that you get out, when you walk into a room in the military, people jump up, they salute, they whatever. When you get out of the military, out of that lifestyle, it is so hard because when you walk into a room, no one cares. <laughs> and it's, it, I mean, it sounds funny, but it's tough because it has been your life. In some cases, your identity. But you have to make sure you have a plan to kind of, download that stuff and get out there again and 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 being a civilian after that long can be difficult and it does take some adjusting but like in the military get folks involved you can do this i was going to say the other thing i would say is practice names because we have the <laughs> yeah. name tag right on and everybody knows who the other person is even if you don't have a good memory so practice exactly. yeah. learning names That's good. yeah and then as a spouse yeah. What works? I mean, every spouse can, can relate. Flexible, flexible, flexible. Be the wind. <laughs> Be the wind. <laughs> Bend and don't break. Bend and don't break. Because everybody knows you got so many hats to deal with. And what I'd like to say to people who are not in the military community, but around them, and you know military people, be kind. Don't just assume that they're moving because they're running from something. No, this is literally our life and we love it. You know, don't, don't down what we do. It's important. It is important. So be kind. Be kind and, and reach out yeah. and be a friend. You know, right. there's a lot of people who live off base. And they may yeah. or may not live in a neighborhood where there's a lot of other military members. So mm -hmm. if, yeah. if you're a neighbor, reach out and just be a friend to them sure. and welcome them in, into the neighborhood because it is rough. Yes, it is our life, but it is a challenge to pick up and move every yeah. three to five years, sometimes really? less. Sometimes you're privileged and get to stay longer, but mm -hmm. generally every three to five years. So yeah. awesome. Sure. Is there anything that you would like to share that we have not talked about? Just that, you know, thank you so much for what you do. I think a lot of folks don't realize how difficult it can be to be in the military, be a brat, or even be a spouse. So thanks so much for what you're doing. I, I appreciate it. I think this is so cool. So thanks. I, I enjoy it. I have fun doing it. So, um, and I know that you have an offer. What is the offer for our viewers? Okay. So for everybody that is watching, if you all want to spend some time with me, whether it be about your business, about you as a military member, or want to learn more about having your own business as a spouse, reach out to me for a free 30 minute discovery session. You can go to my website and look me up. And my website is um, just go to www.stratustrains.com or look me up on Facebook, LinkedIn, or YouTube. 
And it's Ricky Smith, R-I-K-K-I-S-M-I-T-H. I'm <laughs> looking forward to chatting with you. Love to talk. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on, Ricky. You'll put those links below in the chat, I'm sure, once we finish. And um, I just really appreciate you. I love your energy. We have so Thank much you. in common, you know, with, with being a military brat. I didn't really know my dad in the service, but then serve and then be a spouse. Yeah. Crazy. The only thing I have is I did reserves too. So not yeah, just that food, episode, but yeah, it, it, it's okay. <laughs> So thanks again for being on. I appreciate you. If you are a military member or a veteran or a spouse that has a business, again, go to militarymondays.info. So that's militarymondays with an S dot info. And you can go watch past episodes of rock star business owners like Ricky. Or if you happen to have a business, that's where you can apply to maybe be on my Military Mondays. So with that, I hope you all have an awesome week and I will see you next Monday on Military Mondays. Bye, everyone.